What is up guys, Coinstar1337. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to set up a Litecoin node. Now, if you're like me, you go on YouTube and you type in this simple question, how to create a Litecoin node, and there's no information on how to do it. It's actually very simple to do, so in this video, I'm going to get right into it and show you how to do it. Now, before we get started, I do want to give a few disclaimers. If you are running a Litecoin node, you want to make sure you have at least 2 gigs of RAM on your computer. You also want to make sure that you don't have any caps or limits on your bandwidth because you will be downloading a lot of data. And you want to make sure that you have a decent sized hard drive. I would recommend, you know, 100 gigabytes or more. Okay. So let's get started. First, what you want to do is go to litecoin.org and go to the download page. All right, this is what I was trying to click on. Depending on what you're going to be using is the one you want to click. So you want to download the one that says Litecoin Core, whether that be for Windows, Mac, or Linux. So these other wallets, they're not going to give you a full note. So we're going to do Windows, and we're going to download it, and we're going to save it here. So now once this finish is downloading, you want to double click and start the setup. So let's click next. Um, the default's okay with me. Next. And wait for it to install. Once it finishes installing, you know, click run. And then it's going to ask where do you want to save it. Now see here it says that you need at least 7 gigabytes. That's the current size of the blockchain. But as the Litecoin blockchain grows it will expand in size. So I'm going to use a custom directory. But if you have enough space the default will work for you. But for me I'm going to use a custom. I already have one set up for this demonstration. And it will be saved here. So let's click OK. And then you just wait for this to load. Now make sure you click allow on both of these uh, checkboxes here. Click allow access. And when you first load up the wallet, it will look like this. It will say five years and 37 weeks behind or depending on whatever day you um, watch this video, the, the time will be different. But what you want is you want this to download and you want this to sync up with the network. So once this syncs, what it's doing in the background, it is downloading the entire Litecoin blockchain and is saving it copy of it onto your computer. And once that finishes, you'll be ready to go. Now this, I say leave your computer on overnight, maybe a few days, and this will all sync up. Also make sure you don't have any screen savers on or things that will shut your computer off. Another thing I like to do is just go here to settings, click options, start on system login, and then go here to um, minimize on close, hide, tray icon. You can keep that unchecked, and then click OK. So when I click the exit here, you can see in the system tray, Litecoin is right here, and I can just double click on it. And it comes back up. And anytime I log back into my computer or turn it off and turn it back on, the Litecoin wallet will come back online. So now what we're going to do is we're going to shut off. We're going to hit pause on the video right now and come back when the thing is synced up. All right. Also, before we get synced up, also real quick, if you want to monitor the progress of your Litecoin wallet syncing, you can always go here to Task Manager and find it down here in your current applications running. As you can see, it is using 13.6% of the CPU. It's using about 170 megabytes of RAM. This is the disk percentage that it's using up right now per second. And this is the network um, bandwidth that it's taking. So right now it is um, fluctuating in between about 2 megabytes per second all the way up to around 15, 16 megabytes per second. So this is where you can go just to monitor. If you want to monitor if everything is going okay, you can do that. But normally everything works fine. It's just going to take a while. It's going to take at least, we're going to see. When we come back, we're going to look at the time and we're going to see how long it took. All right. 
Alrighty guys, and we are back. As you can see, you can note the time up here. It has been less than 10 hours. Now, I did step away from the computer and did a few extra things and came back. So this actually could have finished a long time ago, but less than 10 hours, the Litecoin wallet has fully synced up with the network, and now I am running a full Litecoin node, helping to further the Litecoin network and process transactions on the decentralized network so guys there you have it i know for some of you guys who are more advanced and have been into litecoin you know how to run this type of stuff but like i said just doing a simple google search just doing a simple youtube search doesn't pull this information up because i didn't see it out there so i figured you know what let's help the community out and let's just show them how to do this because the more nodes we have the more robust and the more strength the litecoin network will gain also guys one thing i wanted to show you if you are new to litecoin since i had this video up remember i told you that folder that i had pre-set up litecoin data and that is where everything is stored when you look into that folder wherever you have it saved on your computer you will see this one file here called wallet.dat now this file is where your coins will be stored so if you were to send coins to this wallet which by the way to send coins you just click uh, receive and uh, you click here rec uh, what do you do um, you click there and then this is your QR code and people can send like coins to your address right here okay now don't send any coins to this address unless you just want to waste some coins because this wallet will be deleted after this video but for demonstration purposes, um, this is how you would receive coins. And then they would show up in your wallet balance right here. But if you're wondering where are these coins stored actually on my computer, they're stored right here in this file, wallet.dat. So this is the file that you want to make sure that you back up and you store on multiple jump drives and save them in safe locations if you were to store any coins on your wallet. Because if your computer were to crash, you only need this one file here to recover your coins. This is the same thing if you know your private keys. You can recover your coins using your private keys as well. But this file is what can include your private keys in here. So I just want to throw that out there since I'm in this video. But anyways, that's going to conclude this video. This is a simple video as I know. But I've been Coinstar1337. Be sure to subscribe and I'm out.